We considered using a regular case, a business case, but we felt that our students had already been exposed to different kinds of cases in their uh, studies thus far, and we wanted to do something different. In our program, we're really quite progressive. We experiment with different teaching methods, and so I felt that this was a good place to try something different and um, challenge the students in a new way. It is the best way, I think, to have integrative learning, which is what the capstone is about. Uh, I've been using simulations in general for about seven years. And simulations are a great way to teach students to make decisions with ambiguity because uh, they've taken all kinds of courses over the years. They've been tested, sometimes cases, sometimes using regular tests. But this basically allows them to use the full range and make decisions because in the end, we're teaching students to make decisions. And there's no right answer that's about trying to minimize risk and perform. I think the simulation is good because up until now, you know, students have had an education where we've been cutting all the different business functions into pieces and for a lot of them this is the first time that they get a chance to see how everything sort of fits together and see some of those interactions that are pretty difficult to capture in a, in a PowerPoint slide and I think the simulation helps do that in a way that's, that's more intuitive than just an explanation. Yeah, I think this course quite well combined like general knowledge and like the mindset we have gained from our previous courses here in Mikkeli. You like get to see how businesses actually work in a way, in a better way here than in the courses, but you also use the knowledge you have gained. I also think that uh, we're going to get a lot out of this course because I think it's a simulation of what we're going to have in the future, in our future jobs. I think it was really interesting and um, it, it covers a lot of, lot of things in, in building a business. I at least thought that it was really fun. I, I think uh, it's really well sort of tied together the things that we've learned before, especially in terms of finance and accounting and uh, I think it's a uh, could end for many of us, or like for our school uh, here in Mikkeli, this course and uh, this simulation. I also think dealing with uncertainty and asymmetric information was also uh, a thing that's at least not in other courses which came out here with this work pretty well. One of the key things is people think of simulations as like an activity related to like using say an econometrics package or running regressions and that's really not it. The simulation is really another tool for assessing the student's skills. So it's an assessment exercise and it can be, part, be used as part of a course like finance, marketing or management or it can be standalone. And it is a game but it's a different type of thing. It's testing experiential learning that you can't get with any of these other assessment tools. I think one of the things that I emphasize is that the goal of the, of the class is to come up with a strategy and execute it. And at the beginning of the class, when they're, when they're asked to come up with a strategy, they don't have perfect information. And so they might not come up with exactly the right strategy. And so what I explained to them from the beginning is that, you know, the key is not to come up with the right strategy and win. The key is to come up with a strategy and see what it takes to implement it. The main criterion for winning is, is not just that you're actually performing in the game, it's that you're, you're setting out a plan and you're doing the things you want to be doing and that you're assessing yourself and, and sort of managing strategically throughout. That's at least as important for me. What we'd like them to take away and what we've heard that they do is that um, they need to integrate information from many different sources when they're making decisions. In regular subject-based courses, it's a narrower and they may focus on a textbook but here they're trying to pull together rather uncertain information from different sources and somehow still make a decision as best they can. 
And I would say also anticipating the, the actions of competitors is something that will help them later in the workplace. So I think that's, that's a really important takeaway.